What's up guys, Dick in here, doing more for the Grand Theft Auto Online Lowriders update. So it's now available, you can go download it for free, it's not even that big, it only took about 20 minutes to download this and an update for the PS4, but as for cosmetics, they have new hair and tattoos, that I didn't go check out, but you guys go check that out if you guys are totally into that, but for the clothes, it's mostly gangster type stuff, like sports jackets, and they have a bunch of new shoes, and they have a bunch of new hats, and you know, nonetheless, it's cool. I like that these updates come with everything. It's not just like, here's some lowriders, but it's like, hey, here's some guns, here's some cosmetics, here's some new game modes. You can also even buy a fourth property if you want. You can own up to four properties now, which again, it all just builds up to me of being just Grand Theft Auto Online turned into a free-to-play, pay-to-win game. And it's kind of sad because it's just so... I don't know, I just wish money was a bit easier to make in this game because everything costs too much. And the way heists are form, if you don't have a group of friends, you're never going to make money. And I just don't have a group of friends that play this enough, and I don't sit there and try to play it every night and build a whole bunch of money, you know? I moved on. The game is getting kind of old. It is still amazing, but I would like to see information or some hints on Grand Theft Auto 6, or how about pay DLC with uh, a new map? Let's go back to Vice City. I think that'd be pretty awesome. But... You guys take a look at the rest of cosmetics and let me know what your opinion is on this update. Should they add more? Is it about over? Would you pay for some new maps and new DLC? Let me know in the comments. We'll have more coming soon on the Low Rider update here on the other channel with Dustin Fly. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.